Perhaps no other addiction has been incriminated with different diseases as smoking. Perhaps every system of the body, from head to toe, is affected by smoking. Smokers die on average 8 to 10 years younger than non-smokers. Smokers are 30 to 40 percent more likely to develop type 2 diabetes. Smoking can also make managing the disease and regulating insulin levels more difficult because high levels of nicotine can lessen the effectiveness of insulin, causing smokers to need more insulin to regulate blood sugar levels. Smoking is strongly linked with both increased incidence and severity of diabetes. Smoking is found to cause diabetes by insulin resistance as well as uh, decreased insulin release due to the pancreatic beta cell damage by inflammatory and oxidative pathway mechanisms. Maternal smoking during pregnancy is associated with increased risk of diabetes later in life. Now the question is, is there a genetic mechanism that links smoking to diabetes? Yes, smoking is associated with increased and differential DNA methylation of type 2 diabetes genes, especially the ANPEP, KCNQ1 and the ZMIZ1 genes, which explains how smoking is associated with long-term diabetes risk. Smoking is an independent risk factor for diabetic kidney disease. It has profound negative effect on overall eye health, leads to development and progression of numerous eye diseases such as glaucoma, macular degeneration, and cataract. It leads to progression of uh, diabetic retinopathy. There is evidence that smoking is an independent risk factor for peripheral neuropathy in diabetic patients. Smoking is a major risk factor for coronary artery disease in non-diabetic as well as diabetic patients. Smoking also increases the risk of stroke in patients with diabetes. Smoking is associated with exacerbation of uh, peripheral artery disease in diabetes. In non-diabetic smokers, it predominantly affects the medium-sized arteries, whereas in diabetic smokers, it also affects the more distal arteries and the arterioles. Presence of smoking in the background of diabetes has a synergistic effect on the peripheral artery disease occurrence and progression. What are the risks of smoking and how it causes diabetes? By sustaining damage to cells and tissues, increasing risk of inflammation, by introducing free radicals leading to oxidative stress and cell damage, by immune system problems, causing changes in lipid profiles, higher risk of, for respiratory and other infections, higher risk for cardiovascular disease, heart attack and stroke, risk of foot ulceration, oral health problems, and also may raise risk of glucose intolerance and accumulation of abdominal fat. All these risks can worsen the symptoms and complications of diabetes. S smoking increases the risk of microvascular complications of diabetes like retinopathy and nephropathy. Quitting smoking is not easy, but all diabetic smokers should quit smoking or using any type of tobacco product as early as possible. The health benefits of quitting begin right away. People with diabetes who quit have better control of their blood sugars. Studies have shown that insulin can start to become more effective at lowering blood sugar levels 8 weeks after a smoker quits. May need several tries to successfully quit smoking, but the benefits are well worth it. So keep trying.